I'm bridging a gap. Yeah. 1611, I'm strapped. Dream team coming back with a slap. Hey, on the block where it's at. It's at. White Chris getting smacked. Who gon' read? I'm about to snap. This straight facts, my boy, no cap. Yeah. Steps going up. I got a question for you, James. You say you've been out here for 20. Where do you live out here? Down the street. Down the street? Now, when you look out here in, in, in your neighborhoods, right, when you put down, when you somebody asks you, what does the black man suffer today? What would you tell them that you see day to day and day, uh, day in and day out that you see in your neighborhood that you say that, that you would say is not a good thing? Or what would you change? Oh, it's not even. I feel like when some folks answer that question, uh -huh. they overthink it. But we go through so much on a regular basis that it's literally just oh, no way. regular you got a body. Mm. living. Mm. Straight up. That's heavy, James. You said we go through so much on a day to day basis that we it, we don't even look at it as a problem. It's normalized. Like it's just normal. Seeing a brother get shot down the street, oh, well, you know, that's that's what it is. A brother getting locked up, oh, that's what it is. He turns the game banger for violence or, or for a, a family, that's just what it is. Do you see a problem with that, James? Yes. You do see a problem with that? Yes. What do you see for your brothers and sisters? What, what, what would be the vision or the goal that you would want for your brothers and sisters? Simply, I grew up with my nana, so this is like stuff from that. So you grew up with your grandmother? Yes. Okay. I just, I just, I just want to see them have love, peace, and honor with each other, because that's not what they have. Okay. It's like, nigga, I hate you. Like, mm. you. That's deep. Like, bro, yeah. That's deep. Did you know that all this correlates in the Bible? Yes. You do? I grew up. I grew up in So you grew up with your nana, so obviously she took you to church. I grew up with my grandmother yeah, as well. Just when we went to, to Kirk church. Franklin, early exactly. Aretha Franklin, Nita Baker, all the same Whitney. stuff. All right, Whitney, I'm I feel you. I'm with you on that. Now, in the Bible, so do you still go to church today? With with your grandmother? Now, in the in the churches that we go to, have your pastor ever told you about the nation of Israel? He has. What does he tell? What does he tell? What does he tell you about the nation of Israel? The stuff I remember uh -huh. talking about Israel. That's what Jesus hails from. Okay, that's what Jesus comes from. You're absolutely right. He comes from the nation of he's Israel. A black man. Right. He is. And we had a convo about how they like try to whitewash Jesus. They, they're not how they tried. They did. Well, they, they, yeah, they. Because if they didn't, we wouldn't have these images inside yeah, these churches yeah. now and inside they, these billboards. They whitewash them. Right. He's not white. Okay. He's a brother. Okay. We come from, we are his chosen people. He loved all his children. So okay. basically he says our chosen people were we hail from Israel. You're absolutely right. His chosen people is the nation of Israel. Yeah. Right. You're absolutely right. Now, did he tell you that you were from the nation of Israel? Bring it out. He did? That's where all the people are from. Okay. From all right. So now my next question is, what's your nationality? I'm African American. Woo! So if you come from Israel, how the hell are you African American? Well, you know, I'm African American. I don't know my full bloodline thing about. Uh huh. I know I'm not African American, but I just say it because I don't know the answer. To because that. you could. Okay, you know what? I respect that, James. I, don't know the I respect answer. that, James. I don't, I, don't I don't know. I didn't do it like this. I don't know. It. I respect but I know that, James. I'm not African American is a colonized cold word. Okay. Deuteronomy 2016. I'm going to show you how you're the nation of Israel. Right, and how the same lineage, what's your, your nationality, would you so call me, you say African American. So you would be from the tribe of Judah. Right. right. Guess what tribe Jesus Christ came from? Judah. That's right. So you and Christ are the same bloodline of that same tribe. That's important, bro, because a lot of our brothers don't know that. A lot of these so-called brothers who call themselves African Americans or black and Negro, they don't understand that they got the lineage to the greatest man that ever walked this earth. Right. So they say, I'm African-American. African-American came in 1980s when Jesse Jackson said, we're African-Americans. Yo, grandmama, if you ask her right now when she was growing up, what did they call themselves? Did they call themselves African-Americans? She would say, no, we didn't call ourselves African-American. That's two different continents, first off, James. So when they were growing up in the slavery, it was Negro, Blacks, or Coloreds, or Afro, Afro-Negroes. Those are the terminologies that they was giving our people. But through slavery, all that changed. And then Jesse Jackson, again, in the 1980s, brought up that African-American. But I'm going to show you what your nationality is, that your nation that you come from is out of Israel, and you're deprived from the tribe of Judah. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 16. Bring it out. Cursed shall thou be in the city. It says what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now, to give you the context, go to Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Do, the, Mo, you know what Moses is. You've been in church, right? You know Moses. Moses is speaking to the Israelites. And he's telling the Israelites about prophecy that's going to come to them in the fulfillment of their generations. All right, read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. 
These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Yes, sir. So Moses is speaking. He's speaking to all Israel. Not everybody, but all Israel. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. So he said, it shall come to pass. I mean, this is future prophecy. He's telling the Israelites, this is going to happen. This will happen. Read. If thou will not. If. If. See the option? He said, this will happen if. Read. Thou will not hearken. The thou is the Israelites. He's speaking to everybody like he, what are you out here now? Who are we speaking? He's speaking to everybody, the Israelites. Not the whole nation. There's 18 nations in the Bible. He's speaking to what nation? Israelites. So he's speaking to Israelites. If it, it shall come to pass, if the Israelites, Judah, so forth. Read. Hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you hearken unto the voice of the Lord, if you don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, what will happen? Read. To observe. To do all his commandments. To observe and to do all his commandments. Who commandments are we talking about? God's commandments. So if we do not observe to do all his commandments, do you play sports? What sports do you play? Basketball, football, basketball, and football. So when you observe sports, like right now the Lakers are in the, play, in the, in the Western Conference Finals. When you're observing them play, what are you doing when you're observing them play? When you're observing them, when you're observing them play, what are you doing? Watching you're, you're watching how they play. What else? Watching how they execute their plays. How they execute. What shots they're missing. Uh -huh. What passes are they missing. You're paying attention to it. To every, exact, to every detail. You see how, it's, how you said that? That's what Moses is talking about the same way. If you don't observe, if you don't pay to every detail attention about God's commandments and to do, that's the action word, to do, execute. to execute. When LeBron goes out there and says we're going ISO, you think everybody's doing their own thing? No, they do what they're supposed to do. They execute the play, right? Read. To do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. So he commanded us. Is a commandment a choice? If your grandma was to command you, James, go clear up the room right now. And I mean right now. Do you have a, do you, do you think you got a chance? No. Uh, no. You're going to do it, right? I'm going to do it. Okay, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Yeah, all these curses shall come upon us and overtake thee. So he's saying that the curses, hey, my brother, pay attention to what we talk about. We're talking about your lineage right now. He's saying that if we don't do these things, that these curses shall come upon who? The who? Who's us? Judah? Right, but what nation? You're absolutely right, but what nation? The Israelites. Right. The, all these curses will come upon the Israelites. Yes, Judah is definitely in the, in the fourfold of that. Read. What curses shall come upon us? Verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Okay, so he's saying the Israelites will be cursed in the city. Now, every state has cities all throughout the, uh, uh, at the states, right? So, who are cursed? When I say who are cursed, who are the ones trodden down? Who are the ones beaten down? Who are the ones overlooked? Who are the ones kicked on like a carpet or a, 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 a foot rug? What nation of people today? Would that be the blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, or would that be the Asians, Arabs, and white men? It's clean, bro. Like, the blacks and who? Asians and Hispanics. Asians, and Hispanics? Asians are getting beaten down and shot and killed not out here in the streets. It was Asian or Asian crime, man. That that was one Asian man get a, get a, get beat up, and now the world goes into a frenzy. But what happens to when the black man gets George Floyd? Or what's the the brother that's just but now? Rasheem Carter. Rasheem Carter. Yeah. Black people were getting. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to give it like an analogy. Um, now just keep it real. You gotta give an analogy. What's that? Name? Just keep it real. Uh, just, 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 you know, no analogy. We just we get it effed up, man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. You absolutely right. You absolutely right. Now could you say that about the Asian man? No. Exactly. You see where I'm going at with the lines? Up? That's what it's going to say. Cursed in the city. They have a situation that happens once in every blue moon doesn't put them in a category saying cursed in the city. Because now, and, and 200 years ago, who was getting effed up? Was the Asians getting effed up 200 years ago? Okay, you see what I'm saying? Let's go back 200 more years. Were we getting effed up? Were the Asians getting effed up? Do you see where I'm going with the Bible's lining up with? It's saying cursed in the city. It's not saying just one particular moment, but it's saying exactly. The Israelites have been cursed in the city since the time that this right here has been prophesied in the Bible. Bring it out. That's what it's going into. Let's read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So cursed shall the Israelites be in the field. Not only in the work fields, but also in the uh, industry fields, with the sports field. What did they just do with Kyrie Irving? 
You follow sports. What did just happen with Kyrie Irving? Kyrie Irving posted a link of a movie. A link, and what happened? This say nothing. Exactly. We like Jaws doing because Jaws portraying the black man. Right. It's making them look bad. You absolutely right, James. That's what the Bible is talking about. And if you go further back, that's just into the work field today with sports. Even in the work fields, who's the first one? If you had Billy and you had the Quan, and they was trying to get an architect job to be uh, the supervisor of the architect. Exactly. Billy's getting a job. Bring it out. You see what's going into the we also be cursing. That's why we're always the, the last ones to get hired. But guess who the first ones they're gonna boot at the do? Exactly. Exactly. That's what it's going into. And you take it back way back into slavery times. Who was the ones in the cotton and sugar cane fields picking? The blacks, the Hispanics, the Native Americans. That's right. We was in the sugar canes in the cotton fields. We was in the poppy seeds. We was in the coffee beans fields. We was in the strawberry fields. Guess where they at today? In those same fields. Just modernized. You get a bigger check now. That's it. And we get comfortable in that thing. But who is this happening to? What nation of people? The nation of Israel. Bring it out. So if this happens to the nation of Israel, and you agree that this happens to our people, what nation would you come from? Israel. Right. You see how it's starting to line up? So when somebody says, yo, what's your nationality? What should you be saying? I'm Israel. So being Israel, it comes with a it comes with a culture, right? It comes with responsibility. It comes with laws. It comes with commandments, right? So read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. You know. Now Israel. Now who? Now Israel. Yep, that's talking to you, Judah. Read. What doeth the Lord thy God require of thee? It says, what does the Lord God require of thee? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So first you got to fear God. To walk in all his ways. To walk in his ways. Walk into the ways that he put for us. Which is what ways is his? What did he give us? He gave us his word, which is the commandments, right? So we have to walk after these things. Bring it Read. up. And to love him. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God. To serve him. With all thy heart uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Uh -huh. Verse 13. So he's saying to love him with all thy heart and thy soul. That means the same way that you pay diligent attention to the basketball games. When you execute those moves and you're like, man, we got to execute that so we can uh, come, out, uh, come up with the victory. It's the same way. We have to execute God's commandments and precise and do them diligently. And to the, and to the last minute detail. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.